I'm reading killer concepts from my YouTube comments. Today's original killer concept comes from Blitzo the Clown, and his concept is The Jester. Come on! Ah! Yes! So the Jester would be of average height, have a terror radius of 32 meters, and move at about 4.6 meters per second. These stats would make the Jester comparable to Blight, Ghostface, and Pig. Alright, so let's talk about the lore, the powers, and the perks. So Blitzo didn't come up with any lore, so I just made something up here. So the Jester, aka Jack Holloway, once a hopeful entertainer in the town of Willowbrook, found himself drowning in the bitter waters of rejection. His desperate attempts to win over the crowd were met with laughter, fueling a festering resentment within him. Consumed by his thirst for recognition, Jack's mind twisted until it snapped. In a final bid for glory, he lured his hecklers into an abandoned theater where he shed his former self and emerged as the Jester. Wearing a grotesque mask and wielding a dagger stained with the echoes of his shattered dreams, the Jester reveled in the chaos he created. With each hunt, he painted the theater's walls with the blood of his victims, their screams echoing like a twisted symphony. The stage was now his domain, and under the watchful gaze of the entity, he would ensure that his name would be etched in the blood upon the tapestry of fear. Alright, so let's talk about the killer's power. Blitzo did come up with the idea for the powers, I did come up with the names just to kind of throw them in there. But the power is called Harlequin's Grin. The jester can make survivors laugh uncontrollably. The more laughter there is, the more powerful and angry he grows. So the special ability is called Hysteria's Crescendo, and it comes in different levels. So level 1, the Jester can make you laugh by hitting you with his weapon, which would be the dagger or the blade. Level 2, the Jester can now make you laugh using his weapon or his special attack, the wand. The wand has a 45 second cooldown when used, and the Jester chooses where to send the wand, so it's similar to like the artist's birds. Any survivors hit by the wand will become injured if healthy, or down if injured. If a survivor becomes injured, the survivor will laugh for 4 seconds. And level 3. When the Jester reaches level 3, he gains access to the Laugh Cannon where he can now set up 2 across the map. When the Jester activates them, any survivor within range of them is injured and any injured survivor is downed. These have a 60 second cooldown. Alright, so let's talk about the perks for the Jester. The first teachable perk is called Control Freak. When you hook a survivor, this perk activates for 45 seconds. If a survivor is or starts working on a generator, they will be faced with multiple difficult skill checks until the timer ends. If they miss a skill check or stop repairing the generator during this time, the generator loses 5% more progress, starts regressing, and is blocked for the rest of the duration. The next teachable perk is called Hex Laughing Stock. A hex that latches onto one survivor and makes the rest suffer. When the obsession is injured in any way, Laughing Stock activates on a dual totem. While active, all other survivors move 3% slower and have a 15% action speed penalty to repairing, cleansing, healing, sabotaging, opening chests, and interaction with killer objects. This perk deactivates if the obsession is healed to healthy, is hooked, or is killed in any way. If the obsession dies, this perk can still be activated if a random survivor is made the obsession. The last teachable perk is called Bone Chilling Fear. People used to laugh at you, now they absolutely fear you. When a survivor enters your terror radius, this perk activates on them. For every 30 seconds spent inside the terror radius, the survivor will scream to reveal their location and aura for 5 seconds. If a survivor is cleansing, repairing, healing, or opening a chest in your terror radius, they have a 5% action penalty. Now I do want to say great job Blitzo, I think my opinion on this killer is that it's awesome idea. Uh, the Jester could be tied into like the Twisted Masquerade event somehow, I don't know how they would do that but I think that would be a good place to say they pulled him from. Now for the killer's ability, I know there's levels, I think it would be similar to Michael's uh, tier 1, 2, 3 system, except I do think it would be a little bit OP as well, I think the power would be OP, I also think the perks would be OP. Now let me clarify, when I'm saying OP, I mean overpowered, just in case anybody didn't know. So when I say the killer's power could be OP, uh, the laugh cannons, depending on how far the range is, I think that would be a big, big issue for survivors. And the perk laughing stock as well, while active, all survivors move 3% slower and have a 15% uh, percent decline in action speed for repairing, cleansing, healing, sabotaging, opening chests, and interacting with killer objects. Seems a little OP. I will say it is a hex though, so that, that could be countered just by cleansing uh, cleansing the hex itself. Also, that perk Control Freak sounds like a alternate version of Merciless Storm, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, it could just be because it's giving out skill checks, probably. 
but I'm telling you, killer mains probably love these perks. Uh, survivors, not so much, but that's the point of Dead by Daylight, right? But if you guys have any original killer concept ideas, please leave them in the comments. I do read all the comments and I'll go through them. Uh, I'll try to make as many videos as I can. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of the other content I have coming out.